even physics itself seems to point to its own limitations here. That it's saying that there are things that are that go beyond it. So the it's kind of interesting. The physics is pointing to its own boundary. Right. That's yeah. Um, furthermore, well, we can talk about free will if you'd like. But yeah. quantum mechanics has, has some interesting imp implications there. One of the big arguments that everything is that that we don't have free will is, well, there was always this thought in, among physicists, or for a long time, that, that physics is deterministic. Uh, that is, that if you specify the state of a physical system at one time, the laws of physics rigidly determine how the system will unfold in the future. The, the universe runs on rails, yeah, so to speak. Yeah. The, the equations of physics are so rigid that the past uniquely determines the future. So everything that I do, whether I pick up this glass of soda, that's all... That's all comes from the laws of physics determined that. So that I can't have free will. But uh, what quantum mechanics showed is that this kind of what's called physical determinism is simply false, that the laws of physics are not rigid in that way. They, the laws of physics do not uniquely tell you how the world is going to uh, unfold. It tells you not what is definitely going to happen. It tells you the relative probabilities of various things happening. That was a huge change when you went from what was called classical physics to quantum. Cla in classical physics, the equations did determine the future. In quantum physics, they do not. They only determine probabilities. So that really kicked the legs out from under what had been a very powerful argument that had been around for hundreds of years against free will from the time of, yeah, Newton, right. from the time yeah. of Isaac Newton. A lot of people were worried. Scientists were worried. How can we have free will given what Newton has showed us about, shown us about the world? But but quantum mechanics kind of dem well cut the legs out from under that anti-free will argument. It doesn't explain free quantum mechanics doesn't say there is free will. It doesn't say it, there is. It doesn't explain it. But it removes one of the big arguments against it that seem to be coming from physics. Yeah.